aircraft structural members are designed to carry a load or to resist stress. In designing an aircraft, every square inch of wing and fuselage, every rib, spar, and even each metal fitting must be considered in relation to the physical characteristics of the material of which it is made. Every part of the aircraft must be planned to carry the load to be imposed upon it. The term stress is often used interchangeably with the word strain. While related, they are not the same thing. External loads or forces cause stress. Stress is a material's internal resistance or counterforce that opposes deformation. The degree of deformation of a material is strain. When a material is subjected to a load or force, that material is deformed, regardless of how strong the material is or how light the load is. There are five major stresses to which all aircraft are subjected, tension, compression, torsion, shear, and bending. Tension is the stress that resists a force that tends to pull something apart. The engine pulls the aircraft forward but air resistance tries to hold it back. The result is tension, which stretches the aircraft. The tensile strength of a material is measured in pounds per square inch and is calculated by dividing the load required to pull the material apart by its cross-sectional area. Compression is the stress that resists a crushing force. The compressive strength of a material is measured in PSI. Compression is the stress that tends to shorten or squeeze aircraft parts. An excellent example of compression is when a sheet metal airplane is assembled using the fastener known as a rivet. The rivet passes through a hole drilled in the pieces of aluminum, and then a rivet gun on one side and a bucking bar on the other apply a force. This applied force tries to crush the rivet and makes it expand to fill the hole and securely hold the aluminum pieces together. Torsion is the stress an object experiences when it is twisted, which is what happens when torque is applied to a shaft. Torsion is made up of two other stresses, tension and compression. When a shaft is twisted, Tension is experienced at a diagonal to the shaft and compression acts 90 degrees to the tension. The turbine shaft on a turbofan engine, which connects to the compressor in order to drive it, is under a torsion stress. The turbine blades extract energy from the high-velocity air as a force in pounds. This force in pounds acts along the length from the blades to the center of the shaft, and creates the torque that causes rotation. Shear is the stress that resists the force tending to cause one layer of a material to slide over an adjacent layer. Two riveted plates in tension subject the rivets to a shearing force. Usually, the shearing strength of a material is either equal to or less than its tensile or compressive strength. Aircraft parts, especially screws, bolts, and rivets, are often subject to a shearing force. An airplane in flight experiences a bending force on the wing as aerodynamic lift tries to raise the wing. This force of lift causes the skin on the top of the wing to compress and the skin on the bottom of the wing to be under tension. When the airplane is on the ground sitting on his landing gear, the force of gravity tries to bend the wing downward subjecting the bottom of the wing to compression and the top of the wing tension. Thanks for watching.